Okay, with Emma, and we're gonna go through her exercise that she does for her chronic disc protrusion with a bit of sciatica to maintain her range, to maintain getting, keeping the pain down, being able to do her core work, and to keep the whole thing happy so she can try and exercise while she, her body is naturally trying to get this disc protrusion sorted out. Hopefully, and if she keeps improving, we're gonna keep going with it, all right? So her big thing, if you saw in the part one video, was her extension loss. Her flexion is fine, show us your flexion. So go forward, her flexion is fine. Okay, she's got a bit of neural tension, but she doesn't have the shooting pain when she flexes like a normal acute disc ball. She's got a chronic disc protrusion with stenosis, so we've gotta try and improve her extension to get her back to running. Hands and hips for me. Show me when that pain comes on for me, Emma. And she's actually improved. This is great. So her treatment before has actually improved. Did that come on at all? A um, little bit. Towards the end. Yeah. Towards the end. Great, towards the end. Before it was sort of kicking in on, when she came in this morning, to go back again, she'd sort of go, bang, it was there. But now she can go through it. So it means what's happening is she hasn't healed up or disc hasn't changed. Her movement at that level has improved. Okay, she's not jamming in the fascia joint and around where that stenosis is, she's improved it. So she's gotta be able to maintain that. She needs homework to be able to maintain what we did in the clinic, go, oh, that was so great. But if she goes home and does nothing, just gonna get tired again, so she needs homework. Now, when she bends backwards, like she gets it, when she bends backwards against the bench top, we find that um, sometimes it's jammed, sometimes it doesn't. So this is the one that we use for people to try and get more range in a loaded position because when they're unloaded, they'll get to the point where they're gonna feel like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna fall over. So we need some support there. So back onto that for me. This could be Emma's kitchen bench at home, okay? She needs to sort of put it at a hip level. Feet need to go wide. Knees need to stay straight. She needs to use her core in the front. She needs to use her abdominals to hold herself as she goes backwards. Now tell me where that pain comes on, Emma. There, okay, now so she's having a problem with that. So when she loads backwards, she's having an issue with just pure extension. I think what's happening, go forward for me, stand away from that. When she goes backwards that way, she does a little bit of hip movement there, and so she's not getting pure extension at the, at the joint. So we know that even though, go backwards for me, even though, no, no, do that thing again for me, yep, lean backwards. See how that's better, right? But she's doing compensation work. You can see how our whole hips go forward with that. Do that again for me. See how she pushed her hips forward? So she's not getting pure, pure extension. We know this is our absolute test, okay? So when she goes back on there, she might go, oh, heaps better. Go, are you heaps better? Go back on there, lean on that again. Are you just, when we don't have hip extension, there it is there, okay? She can see it on her face. So that's our benchmark. That's what we need to start improving. Now to get her doing that, I need to, if she keeps hammering that, she's gonna get sore. So I need her doing more extension with a bit of trickery. So. Have a lie on your front for me, Em. This one, what we're gonna get to doing, again, pillow up, because I want her sort of out of it, too much extension when she's resting. What I'm gonna get her doing is doing what we call a side glide in extension, okay? Which is the closest she's probably gonna to get to me pushing down. So instead of extending up straight like that, she's gonna move her hips over to the left, all right? So she's in a curve. So she's in a side bend to the right, all right? Which means she's gonna, close down this joint here. Okay, we're gonna get more extension at the right hand side of that lower lumbar spine. And then she needs to push up in that position. So where you go for me. It looks a bit awkward. She'll feel a bit tight and jammy here, maybe a stretch on this side, but we're aiming for more movement at this point. So you've got to stay in extension back. Now obviously if you're at home and someone like this has pain there, they stop at the pain point. Does that feel sore? Yeah. So she's pain free with that. Again, she's unloaded, so great. Let's get some movement in extension and we're getting more extension at the right hand side, keep going for me, right hand side when she's in a side bend. So if it's her right hand side we want to close down and improve, her hips go to the left and we're going to do the same thing in standing which is loaded and that'll help her get her full extension better. Okay, so this is one of her major homework ones she does. Once she's done sort of three sets of 10 of that, she's gonna to go to the wall. So let's have a look at that one. All right, so she's gonna choose a wall now. We've got a glass door, which is nice and slidey, which is quite cool. So go onto your shoulder for that one for me, M. Right, hand forward, yep. Bring your elbow forward a little bit. So you've gotta clear the elbow because you don't want to be hitting the elbow. She's going to put a hand on the hip. She's gonna drop into a little bit of side flexion. Not too much, you don't wanna go all the way in because you won't be able to extend. She stays in that position and then she slides back into extension. So what she's doing is now exactly the same movement as we did on the bed. 
she's doing it loaded. So, no, great, okay. The more pain-free exercise I can get her doing, the more she's gonna do it, right? And then that'll confirm the brain that bending backwards is okay. She's gonna to have to do quite a lot of these. Obviously not so much as you get sore on the other side or anything like that. So go in again. So you should see that she's in a little bit of side bend. So she probably needs to go in a little bit more. There, yep. Now maintain that and extend backwards as far as she possibly can go until she feels like she's getting right to the end range of that extension. And that one is gonna help her with her general movement going backwards because we know that's the last missing component apart from her pain in the buttock. We've got to get that range better for her to be able to go running again, right? Because remember, the biking's good, the swimming's okay, right? And she's doing all her cool work, it's just these ones she's got to add in. Now, the nerve one she's also got to do as well. So, have a jump it up in here. Okay, now, Em's going to be doing this in a doorway. So, if you imagine that I'm a doorway, if I'm the edge of a door frame like that, she can put her foot up, she can put that leg through the door frame. So if you're doing this at home, this is a good one to do just around the door frame. What she can also use is a stretch band or something like a power band to add on the dorsiflexion component, okay? So she can then hold that band. And so when she does what I was doing, she strains legs, she can just push her leg up the door frame but this keeps the dorsiflexion on to make sure she's getting the full neural movement and then off again. Remember, this is not a sustained stretch. This is a on, symptoms just about on, and then off again. Now, if all you've got with this is hamstring symptoms, fine, all right? But when I'm talking about that pain, that sort of neural pain that's going on from the disc nerve component, she needs to just stay shy of that, right? There's no point ramming into that and then making it super inflamed and achy. There's no point in that because that'll make her worse. We've just got to go right up to her limit and that's the best she can do for the day. Now, this will be about 30 reps. She'll do about three of these, okay? She'll do a little bit on her left, but mostly it's on her right for this one. And this makes a massive difference to her straightening raise, which gets rid of some of that neural component. So the whole thing improves, okay? So that is her major sort of exercise, you've got one on the, on the bed, you've got one on the wall, and this one as far as movement goes. Of course, she's also doing all her core work, okay? And that is, you know, it goes without saying. She's doing her dead bucks, she's doing her bird dogs, she's doing her planks, she's doing her side planks, she's doing all that to maintain the strength here so she can do her exercise. Um, but her big focus is mobility at the moment, and if you, you've got to do that rehab as well. So that's her, we'll see her next time, we'll see how her progress is.